Hey guys, how are you all doing? Frozen Stag here, and welcome back to the Plantagenet Dynasty. So we are continuing where we left off, and we've had a bit of bad news since the last time. We are 65, and unfortunately we have gotten cancer. In an effort to get rid of the cancer, we had to chop off my hand, <laughs> which seems, and obviously we got severely injured. So, yeah, things aren't going well for poor Henry, sadly, so I'd imagine he probably will die soon. Now, this guy was responsible, who... Unfortunately, fucked up. So, uh, as we're not entirely happy with the man, we're gonna. I don't. We're not evil, so we're probably gonna banish him and not give a fuck about our vassals because we're pissed off of him. So he can fuck off over to uh, <laughs> over to like Jerusalem. Um, Arthur likes us. That's good, but uh, unfortunately, my rule will not be not be very long. I'm afraid. But yeah, it's quite fucking sad. Uh, he finds the bloodline of Alexander. I like to think that Henry actually went to Egypt himself. Or so see, so my alliance has gone, which is probably good for us. No, oh, no marriage ties. What happened to his daughter? Oh shit. Oh, his son Eric died. That was oh, that was a while ago. Um, Blanche is dead. Oh, well, Blanche, I believe it is. So that means jo uh, Oh fuck. No, I'm looking at the wrong bloody nation. <laughs> so Alfred's obviously married to my granddaughter. Um, I married Queen Mary off to the King of France. He's still reluctant to accept any alliance from us, which is a shame, but I'm sure he's probably doing it for a reason. But yeah, it would seem that my uh, character is dying. He's 6-6, six, six, so that's probably not a good sign. <laughs> but yes, he's not doing well, sadly. Uh, he has obviously done. Oh look, Godfrey's great dead. Uh oh. <laughs> oh fuck! What's this? Why? Have, why is she? Why have they got elective succession? Then again, in this situation, I'm probably quite glad that it's going to go to someone else because I don't really want Scotland inheriting Ireland. Thank you very much. So that may cause a few issues. So yeah, in terms of titles, not really much I can give out. Uh. I don't really want someone, the son of the devil, in charge to be happy on this. So, we recruit a court position once more. And now my son, future heir, why has he got a stick? <laughs> okay, so he doesn't become like a monk or some sort of shit. He's a sinner, apparently. Oh, great. But yeah, that would be the future king of England at some point. And he's become a quite a decent general. What's this? Jewish. Yeah, you're right. Well, I'll take you. So he's come of age. Next will be um, Anne and Duke Philip. He obviously still betrothed and all that. But uh, other than that, what else going on? We'll see if we can seek another treatment for illness. I can imagine Henry without a hand is probably. Uh, yeah. Not oh, great. Well, I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> What's this? Is usurp what title? No, oh, okay, he's the king, so. Hmm, interesting. Well, I've lost the traits for the injured. But I'd imagine Henry isn't probably very happy with his life, or he's probably, well, he's not really, he's 66, he's not really much of a general, is he? I watched how it was done. I've been reading Ars Morindi, and it claims that death is not. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if how bothered Henry is about life anymore. He's, you know, he's got cancer. You know, he's going to die at some point. And I'd imagine with one hand, but uh, he's uh, probably spent more time reading. He's probably had trouble reading, but, you know. But anyway, I imagine we'll probably skip ahead to the rule of uh, uh, probably Edward the Sixth. This is Sixth, isn't it? Yes, it is. Is it Edward the Sixth? Yeah. It's Edward VI. So we'll skip ahead to the rule of Edward VI. Well, fuck. My son's dead. <laughs> Fucking hell. He died dysentery and then the maester, well, I say maester, it's more court physician, buggered up his treatment and killed him. And I just exiled that man. Uh, there it is. I've exiled him. And yeah, he sort of pretty much killed my son. But uh, I'm sure the king probably figured I should have fucking had his head. So now we'll be playing as Edward, who will now be Edward VI. Um, so yeah, that didn't go well. Uh, damn. That's a shame. So, we won't be playing as Edward, I'm afraid. Uh, 
Well, how, it's a real shame when you have to bury your own son. Meanwhile, my illness is going terrible. I can be the loyal. <laughs> Why not? But yeah. Got all the state of that, man. Fucking like, no. hell. Poor guy. <laughs> but yeah, a dark day for the. For the um for Britain, the death of my son. Oh, and I'm dead. Well, I had knew this was gonna happen very soon. We are now playing as Emperor Edward, who will be I believe is now Edward the Sixth. Uh, obviously, my father, well, Edward grew up knowing that he would be uh, he would be Edward the Seventh. However, Edward the Sixth came a bit too. Didn't think he'd be Edward the Sixth. So obviously, we are a bit in a very precarious situation now uh, because obviously we have my brother, who is my heir. And if I do die, my brother, if those two die, I have to play as Eleanor, one of the women. And obviously, um, in, medieval, in medieval times, a queen wasn't very considered great. A lot of people very, were anti against a queen. Obviously, queens obviously were a thing, but uh, I imagine many medieval lords weren't, you know, weren't happy with a woman in charge, you know what I mean? Um, but yes, we're playing as Edward, which is, I believe is the most youngest... Uh, um, the youngest king we've had. I may even call him like Edward the Young or something at some point. Emperor Henry has given the ghost at say 68. He died of cancer. Well known to be charitable, he freely gave money to his friends and family. A godly man. Henry is with Jesus now. So, Emperor Edward in possession of fabulous riches. Only time will tell if he will make the realm thrive. Or roost on the gold like a dragon. <laughs> but it would seem that we are quite well liked. And we do. Well, no, we don't have any claims in Spain, do we? Ah, <laughs> that's uh, mm, interesting. Uh, and yeah, I don't think I can claim this guy. Hmm, interesting. But uh, now my heir is now Philip. Let's sort out my four billion titles that I have. Let's pause a minute. Okay, so let's have a look at our ambition. Let's just go for it. Make a friend. <laughs> Why not? And we go seduction focus because I want to obviously seduce my French wife. Who is a bit cruel and a bit gluttonous, but I'm sure she'd do okay. Uh, and needs to be educated by myself. I think I was anyway. But yeah, I don't think you, yeah, we never played as a, a king this young. Obviously got my immortal bloodline. I believe now I can actually, um, um, if I wanted to, invade France. <laughs> Which I won't do. Because uh, my sister's married to it, and I think it'd be... Oh, she's been fucking to one else, it seems. <laughs> Unless they're both of I don't know. But uh, we, st we won't do anything with France just yet. Um, We probably will be going off to Spain, I'd imagine. As we don't exactly have any blood ties with them. They do have with France, but only in an aggression pack. So, I'd imagine we'd be going off to Spain probably very soon. We are in a society, we'd say. Oh, we're in the Benedictine Order. Okay, that's cool. We're remaining that then. And we're organize a coronation. Actually, recruit a court physician. Yeah, that happened very quickly. Uh, my father died uh, in the 23rd of April. And then my f uh, grandfather died soon after. So, yeah. Obviously, my mother's still around. I just invited my mother to court. I don't know why she's. I think uh, she, story wise, left the court because she wasn't very happy with Edward or they were not in the best of. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll uh, get crowned immediately by probably the Pope. If we can, yep, yeah, only the Pope. Uh, let's have a look at all things. Chancellor, so let's get you in charge. Um, do you perform statecraft now? As I won't be doing any, like, uh, claiming titles, so. Steward, we'll have one of you guys. I could do the King of Wales, but you're much better. So, you can do Economy Tech. Court chaplain can go to you. And can we upgrade any technology? No, we can't. But most of my technology is quite good at the moment. So that's good. Uh, special minor titles. Uh, we already get an eight court position. So hopefully they're not useless. I'm going to set ourselves some commander up. Commanders. Uh, what else am I missing? Court physician, where we sorted that out. But yeah, okay. So, receive a mission. Mm, I'm already in the bed in order, so I don't think I'm really into the whole yeah i think my father must have been i'm not sure i'm not quite sure on all that really but uh we speed up a bit i obviously didn't really expect to be playing as my as uh edward so soon but i knew i thought we'd be playing as my edward the loyal and well, we are the loyal but uh, i'm gonna name my nickname actually 
I fucking bloody remember that. Uh, I, no. The young. Is it just young, maybe? No. Uh, pff, I don't really know. I'll look for something later on. Uh, probably when I finish. Probably when we skip ahead a bit. Between another Jewish guy. Fuck it. If he fucks up again, I'm gonna take his head off. Because <laughs> we've had enough of these bloody Jewish people screwing with us. Yeah, because I'm not married just yet. I will be soon. Uh, obviously, my wife's a bit young. I would marry her, but she's got the <laughs> hair lip, which uh, which is I imagine is probably why we uh, married. Uh, Honor donators Edwards here will grant you permission to advance in its rank in the Benedictine order. Okay, awesome. Nice. I've never done the. Uh, oh, Emperor of the Western Roman Empire should be glad to recognize your divine right to rule. As soon as you prove your devotion. Oh, okay. He wants me to take down this anti-pope. Hmm. Well, um, looking at Edward's traits, he is honest. He's erudite. He's quite scholarly, and I imagine he's quite religious because he's very humble and. Uh, charitable, he's patient, and he's brave. So I'd imagine he will probably accept this straight away. Um, I'd imagine. So yes, we'll bring the sinner to justice. And declare war on that. The road forward is clear. I must send the decision uh, broom within the Catholic Church by removing the anti-pope that is currently challenging the authority of Pope Victor VI. In order to do so, I must wage war against the Emperor Enric of Hispania. Only once this war has been won, I'll be able to continue with the preparation for my anointment. Okay. So, we will have to do that then. That's interesting. That kind of makes things a little bit more eventful than rather just being crowned uh, Emperor. So, let's begin. We'll rally up my great hordes of forces. And... Go over to Winchester. And... Send from my armies down here. You can get on the boat. I'll send a small force just here. Just because I want to be go to Barcelona. And uh, we'll rally up our forces there. And that should be all the troops I have. Okay. Uh, yeah, go on then. I lose a bit of fertility, but I feel like I'm more of a read, read, um, more reading. And now there's no opposing pact against me, it's just... No, I did have a feeling that we would eventually do this. And uh, I'd imagine because we made a pact, like I made a complete pact with uh, my grandfather, I imagine that pact will still stand. Uh, I'd imagine the Pope, the blood, the pact has sort of been sealed in like a holy oil. Uh, basically, uh, Henry has sworn by the Bible that he will restore all his uh, dynasty or his line. Oh, I would say his dynasty really, or his line has promised to restore the Roman Empire, take up France, Spain, Holy Roman Empire, and Scandinavia. However, the Pope and the Papacy, um, the Vatican, and the only the most loyal to the royal family have been given. Well, the King. I imagine this secret, the King's secret, will be passed down by King. So if Edward dies, Philip will be given the secret and been. Well, likely, I'd imagine when on the on the. Uh, when the king died, or the emperor really, Edward was sent to the Vatican and get, and spoke to the Pope. And no doubt give, uh, told that he... Well, actually, we have a holding in there. He actually holds Tusculum. That's interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'd imagine from a story perspective, do we have we hold a holding in Rome to... Uh, I think probably to um, visit the Pope, I imagine. But okay. I'd imagine that's because, um, yeah, so this, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is he a Mongol? <laughs> what? Okay, that's really odd. But yes, um, so the papacy will be given this secret, and this, I imagine that like, the holy, uh, the, the, the conclave, isn't this, it? well, I can't remember the bloody name of the church thing, isn't it? It's like a college of cardinals, that's it. So they've all been given, uh, like, pope names. I wonder, if it, I wonder if it'd be fun to do a campaign as a Pope or something. I know it's hard, you can't really do theocracies, but there's probably a mod somewhere you can. I think that'd be kind of funny. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, so I imagine the secret will be passed down to King and all that. And, obviously, 
Edward has now been given, well, made aware of this, uh, that he must uh, restore the papers. And obviously, he was sent over to uh, a Rome and told that to uh, to make sure this pack stands, and the pack will stand forever. Uh, he must prove a devotion to take out Spain. So that's sort of the uh, whole story I'd imagine behind it. Which obviously does make sense. The Pope isn't make, wants to make sure about this. Hmm. And uh, Henry will be Edward will be thrust into the to, to war. Which I probably have enough here, yeah. Right, you guys can go down over here. We'll be moving out from Aragon. I am wondering if it might be wise to leave an army home. Hmm. They are actually in a bunch of different wars. There's another, there's another panty paper war as well. There's loads of... Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Will there be anything left of it? Oh, fuck. My war ended. Uh. Am I going to get crowned or what? What's happening here then? Does that mean my thing will expire? That's a bit stupid, isn't it? Oh, because he already bloody won it. Okay, I imagine we probably helped it. I don't know. Oh well. Well, ask the Pope again. <laughs> well, well, that's a bit anticlimactic. I was hoping for a good war then, but no, well. Um, <laughs> what have I done? Alright, well, I need to pay him some cash, that's fine. Show me an extravagant ceremony, I have a bunch of cash. Oh, you've turned, turned, changed your day. Only a few more days remain. A lady's evening as the servants were cleaning up our tables, Pope Victor VI decided to talk to me about my new responsibilities after the coronation. As a Catholic Emperor, I would be sworn to care for the sect the needs of all my subjects as well as to stand against the tide of sin and heresy proceeding in our world. I imagine that's also sort of tied in with the whole um, uh, rest rest restoration of the Western Roman Empire thing as well. Now, obviously, we will be continuing that Western Roman Empire trend with just France, Holy Roman Empire, Scandinavia, and Spain. We will not be changing our video condition to go after the Golden Horde. It will stay as it is. Once we've taken over... Now, I know I mentioned this a few times, but once we've taken up Scandinavia, Holy Roman Empire, France, Hispania, and once, I believe, once um, this fortress is finished, and once, I ideally, I want everything to be built up in York and everything as well. And once that's all done, we will end the series like that, once everything's completely finished. I do feel like that would be the best way to go for it. Uh, we will go zealous as it improves my marshal. We are very diplomatic as well. We make friends with a Jewishman. Why not? He is actually more my vassals, so. Yep. I mean, I fulfilled an ambition to make a friend. Yay. Become a paragon of virtue now. And Spy Master. I kneel before Pope Victor VI as hosts of vassals surround us in the complete silence. The Pope blesses me before placing the imperial crown upon my head and proclaiming me Emperor of the Western Roman Empire by the grace of God. Oh, it's so awesome. I love the whole Western Roman Empire thing. That's a guy. I think I feel like it's a... Oh, let me know what you, um... Let me know what you guys think of the whole Western Roman Empire thing. If you like it and if you think it's a nice little, uh... If you think it's, uh, quite cool. Um... And I quite like it myself. Let's, uh, get ourselves a, another... No, you're, you're 21, so I'll have you. And you're an assassin as well. I've never been the Benedictine Order, so... I will see what that's like, because I've never done it before. Uh, training grounds are being played. Again, we are seriously just building up our land and all that. And uh, that All that money we got from the Crusade pretty much did all that. Did he just see... Oh, no, he did see That's so technology in Rome, as we're in good terms with the Pope. Anyway, um, do we have a truce with them now? I don't think we do. I never claimed in Scotland, did I? Mm, okay. I'd imagine three captives. Oh, I'm really not, not too bothered. Um, 
I think what we might do is probably go off and... Either, I don't know, we'll see. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I want to sort of my nickname first. So I imagine... Uh, I don't think what I would do. We'll skip ahead a bit. Probably when I get married. And after my marriage. And then we'll probably go ahead and attack Spain. We won't be attacking France. Uh, probably because we are on close related, closely related to the... What the hell, Galvakine? Oh, God. I don't think they... There's no... Actually, uh, female something him allowed to inherit. Okay. They're in a revolt. What's this about? Prince Justin to claim on France. Hmm. Who's that? Because I'm thinking if that... Okay, it's just one of his relatives. His uncle. Okay. I think we're probably going to help... Against uh, actually war of Scandinavia, we have another bloody war. Actually, I can't even help the guy because he's not even. Yeah, he's not even. I'm not even an ally with him, so he sort of screwed himself there, isn't he? What's this? Lake Zana's with no. <laughs> I don't bloody think so, mate. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I do think I do believe that will. I don't know. We're. Skip ahead a bit. I feel like we should. I do want to go after bloody this. This is annoying me. So, tell you what. We'll take this off him. And go to war, I believe. How many men does this dude have? 28,000. Okay. But let's put myself in command over here. Have Alan leading the main force into battle. Go there. Uh, I don't need these ships. For now, anyway. I'm going to have all the troops I can get on ships coming down, which is quite a lot, as you can see. They're going to split up just over here. And then continue over to the Holy Land. The rest of the 17,000 can disband. I won't need them. I may even disband a few as time goes on. Says, Free sometimes, though some time have passed since my coronation. The good people of York are still in the festive mood. Glad to finally see the Emperor's status be recognized by the church. It would be nice to see my subjects continue to celebrate my rise to the throne. If it were not the fact that they are also using this as an excuse to work less. Yeah, let them have their fun. <laughs> my sister's come of age. Oh, um, she was married to someone. I can't remember who it was she was married to. Oh, yes, it was the Emperor of Epirus. Yeah, she, he's died of. Oh, he died. Hmm, assassinated. Interesting. What do we do though? Do you marry my sister off? Someone, I don't know who. Emperor of Spania. If we do that, that means we won't be able to attack the Spanish. Then again, if we did do that, if we did marry to the Spanish, that would mean that we would go invade someone else, which would be nice. Because uh, I could probably finish with Scandinavia, because we've already taken Iceland and all that. And I think it's time... And they are still a vassal. Hmm, they're all winning. I'm not too sure. I don't know who we're marrying my sister off to, to be perfectly honest. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The Holy Roman Empire is no point because I could actually. There's no really one in Epirus to marry off to, is there? Because they're all girls. Maybe Hungary, perhaps. Or 10. You're a bit young. Mm, the Golden Horde, perhaps? They're quite powerful. He's 42. What's the uh, succession for that? Oh, God, it's bloody not six. Oh, God. Um, tell how that will go well. Hmm. Questionable. Egypt's war of them. What's going on in Jerusalem? Because we have a plantation over there. The Cuckoo. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's not good, is it? Uh, what about you, this Irish sort of... No, that's a different succession completely. What's the Byzantine Empire doing? All married off already, already. Uh, I'm not too sure, to be honest. What about you guys? You're a vassal of that. Or if there's any, like, one of our Lord Paramounts, perhaps. you all got a weird succession, so we're not bothering with that. And you have the premature success, probably the best, I can imagine. Okay, you don't have anyone suitable. You're already married off to my daughter. 
You got a bastard. <laughs> Brilliant. Um. No, yeah, I did check you. You, on the other hand, do have. Yeah, I just checked that a minute ago. Well, Brittany, what have you got? You, you're already married off to that woman. It's annoying because you probably would have been perfect. Alexander betrayed someone else. And you, what's your bloody succession? Your succession zap for some reason. Why is so grandson? Why is it not this guy? Hmm. Weird. Um. Yeah, there's no one really suitable, I'm afraid. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, we're just not gonna have to double bother with that. Uh, we'll see who can marry off to later on. Maybe one of my close vassals. We'll have to have a look. I'll probably do it after this war's over. Which I'd imagine wouldn't take too long. It's quite a big garrison in this, so. Actually, Of course, they're going up to Britain. Now we got some more cash, yay. Uh, we're immediately split up my forces. I want. You can go in there. Now we have the bigger army here, can go here. That fleet can just chill at my capital and just defend, and I'll probably turn them over to the Holy Land later on. These guys can go help. Join up with the king. It seems Egypt is sending all their troops north. Okay. What's this? Uh, can Mrs. Sir Hilda's contacted me asking if I have any interest in learning more about roses? Apparently, her latest achievement involves a dark red variant mixed with a particular type of yellow. Hmm, okay. We'll see what that's about then. God's blessing upon her, the of the latter's Edward. The Benedictine orders are needed more funds to maintain charitable funds. Of course, you play, you do. I hope you're unable to, sir. Uh, yeah, what? Where's this? Do I give it to this guy? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, I'm afraid. Uh... Ah, here we go. Yeah, thank you. Escorted through the gardens of the monastery, I immediately spot the work of Sister Sir Hilda. The roses are a delicate mis mixture of red and yellow, a hue of sunset at their centre. They are beautiful, my escort nods, offering me a small spade. They are a little cramped over there, though. Would you mind helping me out? Ah. Yeah, why not? I'm sure uh, Edward isn't afraid of getting dirty now and again. My wish to become a better Catholic is led me to the rule of St. Benedict. Following the foot of St. Benedict, I've realised the value of kindness. Every display of compassion brings us closer to him. So yeah, uh, M Edward, I mean, I imagine Edward could be kind of holy, but then again, we've already had a holy as a king. And then he knocked, and he died, and after when he died, everything went to shit. <laughs> oh, we're fighting over here. Well, that's good. We're now kind, so that's that's all right. I'm quite Jesus Christ the nutrition over there. Bloody hell! We sort of landed right there, didn't we? But Lawrence in charge, and some here, and put Gregory as well. When half the bloody kingdom stops attacking me, well, half of Egypt stops attacking me, we're caught off and do something else. Oh, you fall into a trap. Yes, keep coming to my homeland and I will defeat you. <laughs> Cowards! Oh, let's bring them another army over. Uh, we will just besiege this. We will lose a bit of nutrition, but uh, that's okay. That's, that's a bigger army. I'll tell you what, I might put... I'm going to put you... I'll put, I want Edward leading the forces into battle, so... Oh, shit. Um, so we put Alf Alan in charge and Alfred. Put the best generals in charge. And I'll stick in you guys. And uh, move down with Edward and crush this Egyptian army, which is sort of Catholic slash Irish a bit. <laughs> bit of a river crossing there, but... Alright, here we go. So, yeah, we can defeat that guy easily. Ooh. No, we are kind, so I don't think we'll kill him. 
It's not God's will. Well, who's this we've captured? Uh, the Sinai. We'll ransom you off. Ooh, what money. <laughs> More money the better. This is eventually going to fall. Eventually, it's taking a while. Just besieging the town. But, uh, oh look, that's now a puppet of France. Interesting. Seem to be popping a lot lately, it would seem. I'm sure it's God's will. <laughs> Let's move down and just attack him. Where's he going down the Surrey? Let's move down and cut him off. Where's he going? Oxford. Who's that? Oh, my mother died. No, uh, that sucks. Poor woman. There you go, got him. Can you go with the second? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Now I've had some kids, that's good. Excellent work. Yeah, so after this war, we will be going down to uh, sort out some stuff off camera diplomacy mainly. Now, if you've done that, come here, you bastard. <laughs> you will die. Is that the guy that I. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, funny enough, he's a Templar as well. Oh, they're sending another one, are they? Probably going straight to York. Yeah, there they are. Okay, what's the point of that? Okay, let's uh, move down now and just. Take this. There you go, victory is ours. Now, what's that do? Do we get the. Yeah, we take the place. Brilliant. Which. Yeah, we got all regions. That's perfect. Okay, we can actually put someone of Plantagenet Dynasty in here. Let's go for our massive family tree. <laughs> Fucking so many members of my bloody hell. King of Scotland. Saul of Jesus, who killed my brother. <laughs> was it my. No, it was my. It was my uncle he killed. Obviously, we don't know that. Hmm. Signs of Plantation. I could have legitimized him or something. Edward the Bold of Wessex. Yeah, his line died out. And then we had Nicholas of Fitzcatherine, who is actually still alive. Hmm. Might give him that then, actually. Why not? I might even give him. What part of that region? Is that... No, it is part of Aragon. Okay, I could give him some land. Perhaps. So is that a... And yeah, she has a duchy. Okay, we'll give it to him. Uh, I don't really have anyone else to give it to, perfectly honest, so you can have it. And that keeps us... Gives us a loyal vassal. And we'll put you under the control of this woman for now. Which I'm fine with. Uh, no doubt we have some problems with that at some point in the future. But uh, anyway, that's literally all be it for this episode. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. we we'll, uh do some diplomacy stuff with camera, get married, and go from there. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> she might not even make it, but uh, we will have to see. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you later.